ravine. All right, Salmon Nation. Well, we're gonna try to do a little skydiving here this morning. Yesterday, tried again. It was a little bit too windy, um, at least for my big canopy I normally jump. I'm jumping the student rigs. I don't have my own equipment anymore. I used to have it, um, but uh, yeah, not anymore. So yeah, that, that canopy is a little large for the winds we had yesterday. It was a beautiful day and um, Moss was here from Rhode Island, used to live here. So uh, we're gonna try to get up there. It's a little cloud layer out there right now. So I don't know, cloudy, but not windy, windy, but not cloudy. It's springtime in Michigan. It's just, uh, it's a gamble. All right. See you up in the sky. That was a great hop and pop. First skydive of the season. Got up there, little clouds, but we're out at 5,000 feet. Canopy's open, beautiful view. Just perfect way to start your day. Um, and landed a little bit downwind of the hangar, which was good, staying Eww. away from all those hard surfaces. Well, got one little hop and pop in. Didn't have much on the GoPro for that. Plus, um, not really technically allowed to bring camera gear just yet. Not enough jumps. but. That was a nice morning. It's always fun hanging out at the DZ with everybody and just chilling, sunshine, and just another beautiful day in the state of Michigan. Stay stoked to Michigan, friends. All right, friends. Hey, skydiving was awesome yesterday. A little hop and pop, 5,000 feet, jump out, throw the pilot chute, canopy opens, beautiful view of Michigan. Grand Haven. I mean, the only thing obstructing your view is the feet that you have hanging out in that harness. It's awesome. You should try it. Skydive Grand Haven. Go check them out. They'll take care of your great group of people. We're going to do a little review on some mountain bike products that I've got lined up here uh, that I've been using for, well, some for like 15 years and some I just got. So stay tuned and we're going to go through some of the mountain biking kit um, that I think you'd need if you really wanted to get into mountain biking in Michigan. Check it out. All right. First piece of gear you're really going to need is a helmet. And this bell helmet has the MIPS system. And the MIPS is basically a concussion uh, protocol system that helmets come with, mostly higher end helmets. And you can see this one's a bell. And basically, uh, this helmet I bought at Walmart for $39, uh, dollars, I think, around $40. And it's kind of cool. It's got the, uh, it's got the enduro styled visor. And, um, it looks all blacked out and, you know, cool looking. And normally helmets, uh, that go like this are usually about, I think, starting at right fifty, sixty dollars, maybe upwards into like hundred, two hundred dollars. You can get some really nice ones. And I guess the net net of it is this helmet works great. I like it a lot. The only bad part was when I first started with it, and I was I'm a sweater. I would get some kind of, uh, I guess you'd say, chemical taste that would come into my mouth. <laughs> So I'm not sure if you like that. Honestly, if I had it to do over again, I'd probably spend a little more money on a different helmet. Um, but I think for the net net of it, this helmet will get you out there for 35 bucks. You really can't beat it. And again, I got it at Walmart. All right, so next up are these hand up gloves. I ordered these, uh, a pair for myself and a pair for Anna. And some of the YouTube uh, guys that I follow, they're wearing them and I'm checking them out. So I thought, well, I wanted something kind of cool. I mean, normally I just go buy some work gloves or I buy some at the bike shop. But I thought, oh, I'm going to jump on board with the hand up fashion here and check them out. One cool thing is I do like all the different prints you can do. Um, now, you can see right here, though, it started to rip after about three or four rides, which I thought, hmm, for I think they're $28.99 for 30 bucks almost. I mean, that was a little bit... Um, not cool that they ripped right away. Maybe I should send them back. I'm not sure if anybody else has had trouble with hand-up gloves. Let me know in the comments. Now, do you need gloves? Well, if you sweat a lot, sometimes uh, you can have a hard time gripping the handlebars and you can get some issues where your hands are slipping and you're hitting rocks and roots and jumps and things like that and your hands are sliding off the handlebars. And we've got the, uh, the trail fox. But the thing that I really liked about them was that when you put your hands together, it says stoked. So I thought, well, I mean, come on, stay stoked in Michigan. I've got to at least try these. So 30 bucks, I don't know. We'll see. Maybe I'll do another review on down the line, see how long I have them. All right, and last but not least is my Camelback. And this Camelback has been with me on marathons, uh, the Iceman. It's just been a great hydration pack overall. I don't always have the bladder inside, so if you take the bladder out, you can still fit a fair amount of stuff 
and I've got my little blaze orange uh, parka for blue during hunting season. And uh, it's just got a nice zippered pouch and you can store all the bike tools and maybe a shell, a little bit of food or whatever you need for a basic ride. Um, you know, a few hours is fine. All day you might want something a little bit bigger, but this is just a fantastic pack. Um, and it's just a great product. You throw it in the washing machine and it looks brand new. It's 15 years old. So uh, again, Camelback, I highly recommend their products. Hey, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed some of those product reviews. Let me know about the hand up gloves. I'm just wondering, is anybody else experiencing that or is it just me? They seem like they're kind of, maybe I should send them back, but I don't know. Shoot me some comments and let me know what you think. Um, and thanks again for watching. If you're getting some enjoyment and education out of this content, click subscribe. I'd appreciate it. I got a Sama sticker with your name on it. And uh, we will definitely keep you staying stoked in Michigan. See you next time.